Oh my gosh, I'm dipping single frame numbers. Eight frames, what? Now, even though that kind of worked, did I just download a very terrible exploit that has a virus along with it? Or is it just, just a bad exploit? In this video, I'll be experimenting with the most popular free Roblox exploits that might actually be a virus. Enjoy. Here we are loading into Arsenal, and I guess we can put it on topmost, attach it, and there we go. We got the little execution window. Are we getting ratted right now? Okay, it says it's injected. We are devs API, and it looks like we can start to turning on features. Okay, let's turn on an ESP. Let's see, does that work? I'm pretty sure it just crashed. Oh, it looks like it's back. I swear I couldn't open it back up. Okay, let's try flying. Oh, oh wait. Oh. I don't think it's working. Am I just like an exploiting noob or something? Like, do I not even know how to use exploits? Uh, infinite jump? I mean, that you can't go Okay, but let's try B tools, you know? Uh, is it? Okay, okay, Could t teleport, right? I mean, teleports, oh, tell we got the teleport. So the executor is injected. All right, we confirmed that because I wasn't sure if it was. So I guess we know that the executor is actually con like injected because we can teleport okay that lag is oh my gosh my okay i'm sorry about your frames guys i'm sure it's not pretty on the recording <laughs> if it's not pretty on the live game i have like 20 frames what is going on okay come on can we turn on oh esp yes okay we got esp okay guys this is gonna be the professional uh roblox exploiting experience okay oh Bam, headshot, there you go. That's what happens when you exploit. Oh, monkey in the middle guy's dead. What is going on? My mouse is like jittering. How did I ever use this executor? We are running at a smooth 12 FPS right now. Let's test out Dark Hub. If you don't know what Dark Hub is, it's one of the most easy to use and powerful GUIs for plenty of games. And let's test it out and see if it works with JJ Splur. Okay. Oh, what just happened? I don't even have the GUI up and I'm running at 16 FPS. Guys, I promise my computer isn't that bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not that bad. Oh my gosh, I'm dipping single frame numbers. Eight frames, what? Now, even though that kind of worked, did I just download a very terrible exploit that has a virus along with it? Or is it just, just a bad exploit? For example, one of the top results when you search JJ exploit virus or something along those terms is this Quora post that ask is jj exploit b5 safe and here's one of the answers heck no jj exploit is a virus that deletes your files as a member of the exploiting community jj exploit is a literal meme he's not wrong there never trust anything for we are devs including we are devs kernel i kind of agree there to the idiot who said all executors are virus, that's plain stupid. Okay, okay, let me get this straight. You say, JG Sploit is a virus that deletes your files. And then you say people who say executors are... What? Here's a Reddit post from a user that says, JG Sploit is a virus, here's why. If you think we are devs isn't a virus, read this. Explanation mark, explanation mark, explanation mark. In fact, it is a virus and you should stop using it. It is a bad exploit, full of viruses and rats. Stupid. You may ask, what is a rat? <laughs> and it's unfortunately, we are devs got this rat trojan, and whoever has JJ exploit for a long period of time, PC, is basically effed. And if you don't take an action now, then your PC will start dying. <laughs> Now his definitions and such are pretty accurate, but the, all the parts about JJ Exploit being a Bitcoin miner, having a rat trojan in it, only doing that if you have it for a while, I, I just don't get that. Maybe it was a Bitcoin miner actually taking action while I had eight frames on Arsenal. Or maybe it's just We Are Devs terrible API. Who knows? If I'm being real, it probably is We Are Devs pretty basic API. It's nothing crazy. It's really you shouldn't use it for anything other than its default functions maybe like a b tool script a, like a fly script rev is admin nothing more than that but if you start using more advanced scripts like dark hub or literally anything else 
you probably will start to hit performance issues like I was. And like I've said, We Are Does is not exactly the most reputable website. They definitely don't have only Bitcoin miners and rats. Another Reddit post but from two years ago. So these JG split worries have been around for quite a while, which is also one of the reasons I'm making this video. I'm new to exploiting and tried out JG split from We Are Devs. Trust me, I've done that too. That was literally the first executor I tried once I started getting back into exploiting in 2019 or end of 2019. And when I tried to attach it to a game, it said threat detected. Usually I'll go through the threat and allow it, but the risk was severe and I said a Trojan was detected. Is it really a Trojan or is just the computer thinking it's malware? This guy has more than five brain cells total, so thankfully he was like, maybe it's not actually malware and I hope he's right. Now, in 90% he probably is right and it's just a false positive and if you guys don't know what a false positive is, it's like, hey, you're wearing a black bucket hat. Um, actually it's just the, the, the logo is black. Oh, well, I'm just designed to look at the middle part, so I think it is still a black bucket hat. Okay, well, uh, it's not, so I'm just gonna turn you off. Well, you actually can't do that because I'm trying to do the best for you, and if you do that, then you'll probably die. That's probably not a very good example, but it's basically false positive. It falsely thinks it's something that it isn't, like just because one person was looking only at the middle and the logo of the bucket hat, they saw black, but the whole bucket hat was white, and they just misinterpret the information and think something is something else. Okay, now this is obviously just outdated. All right, so here we are in the JJSploit website, and we click on download, I guess, and then we click on download JJSploit. All right, there we go, we got the installation. Chrome, it's dangerous. All right, that's, that's a standard thing, okay, we can't fault it yet. All we do is control J, and then we click on keep dangerous file, keep it anyway, and then there it is in our downloads. Now you also will have to turn off your antivirus. There you go, it's disabled. And now we can officially open up the EXE JJ Split. Are we gonna get hacked or are we gonna get hacked? Mm, okay, we it just uh, spanned open a bunch of tabs, okay? Hey guys, JJ Split website. Here. And another this is just a beginner tutorial channel. So we'll okay, anyway, some info. Okay, we I understand. Okay, I understand. And then we can get to cheating. But don't breathe a sigh of relief just yet. When you download executors, there's a chance you can download stuff like adware or just unwanted software. But this is the installer for my free keyless level 7 executor that's going to be getting a completely new revamp of the DLL, of the UI, and it's gonna be brand new. It's gonna be almost as the same level as kernel except keyless. And the only thing that you're gonna have to do is go through this installation, which is gonna be kind of annoying at the start. But as long as you follow my instructions that I'll be showing you in the tutorial video, or you just read carefully, you'll be just fine. And you'll have to get no keys, no nothing, and you'll have a DLL as capable as kernel. So definitely check it out in the last link in the description if you want to, but anyway. You click on next and then it's gonna ask you if you want to install this app now if you don't read it carefully and then you're just like oh yeah yeah and then you just spam next 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 you're gonna install like four different random apps that you didn't want to install so you have to make sure to either hit decline or uncheck the checkbox on all these apps and then once you're done you literally don't have to worry about anything and that's where some people can go wrong and just spam accept and then they're like, hmm, I got a virus because they didn't even read carefully. So that's something you guys should definitely be careful when downloading executors. Now, overall, should you get page exploit? Probably not because, I mean, there's so many better executors, especially now, so many devs around that are working on their own executors and so many alternatives, you probably shouldn't get JJ exploit. But the real question is, is there anything wrong with getting JJ exploit? And I say, not really. You can get JJ Sploit. It's not going to benefit you in any way. Actually, it might unbenefit. It, that's not a word. It might be against your benefit because it'll probably just overall ruin your exploiting experience, if that's what you want to call it. But it'll just make you not have a pleasant time while exploiting. And most people might think that's a good thing if you don't like people that exploit. But if you are trying to enjoy your time, I recommend you try a different executor like Yvonne in the last link in the description, like Kernel. I've done plenty of videos on Kernel 
or just buy Synapse. And remember, I do a giveaway on Synapse X every 10K subscribers, and all you need to do is leave a like, be subscribed down below, and comment until we hit 160K, and I'm gonna be giving away 16 Synapse X keys once we hit the goal. So that's all you need to do, and once we hit that goal, we will be giving away 16 keys. And remember, once again, my free executor, Yvonne, is in the last link in the description, which you can test out. And at the first of the next month, I'm gonna be dropping that new update with all the new and improved features so definitely check that out if you don't want to do that now and if that is released by the time this video is out which it won't be because this video is coming out on monday but it'll be very close to wrap it up jg exploit is safe it's definitely not ideal and i don't recommend it but if you really want to you you got it installed you got it open you're like should I click attach or will this crash break and then start mining bitcoins? It will not do that. Anyways though, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, once again, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Remember, we are trying to hit 160K. And I think I said that already, but let's, let's get to 160K and we can do that giveaway. The sooner the better for you guys at least and the better for me. And my, my, I, I don't know if this is just my Wi-Fi or also my, my FPS. They're both dying. Thank you for sticking along till the end. You really support the channel the most out of everyone. Even my members, which are all right here. You guys still, even though you support the channel by helping me do the giveaways, you guys that stuck until the end are the best supporters. So thank you. And you know, I feel like I actually might have downloaded Bitcoin miner. Thank you.